At this house, we're going to be installing pavers. Um, we're going to enlarge your driveway. Since having the two cars there, opening the door, you really can't get out unless you're on the grass. Um, we're also going to take this walkway out and that cement little stoop they have there is uh, falling apart and cracking. So we're going to replace that with a uh, porch that comes out 6 feet uh, by about 16 feet the whole length of the front of the house and then the little walkway right here. Then we're going to be taking this lamp out and we're going to be putting some pea stone here on half the front lawn removing this uh, mailbox and putting it back when we're done in a different location. So that's the plan. We got the jackhammer. Tom's going to start by taking this out since we don't know what's under here, how much rebar. But this is uh, completely deteriorating. It's all coming apart. We got cement down here so we don't know how far down it goes. And then we'll be taking out this blacktop walkway and removing these plants. So, we rented this little baby. And Tom's gonna have fun, right Tom? Let's see what happens, how, let's see how deep that stoop goes. Yeah. That's the big question. Well, between you and the mini, I'm sure you can get it out. Right? And the other fun part is the uh, water is right here that goes to the house so hopefully it's down as far as they're supposed to be and we don't have any issues with that and the gas line runs right where the walkway is going right there but gas lines are down three feet and we're not going down that far
piece of concrete, this is going to be in the way. The other two we're leaving because they're, they're low enough. So we're back this morning. Yesterday we excavated. Uh, we're gonna leave this piece of concrete in here because it's gonna be under the patio. And we actually dug deeper than uh, we had to because our soil's kind of soft. So we want to add some extra stone. And so the patio area is all excavated. This is a rough uh, thing for the walkway. But right now we're gonna concentrate on the patio and uh, get some stone in here and our separation fabric. So I'll set you up on a tripod We got a couple inches of stone underneath and then we have our separation fabric and now we're putting our stone here to get to the proper depth and then Tom's going to compact it. Where Tom's standing is where it has to be. I'm out of luck
So I want to show you, we're excavating down by the driveway for the extended paver walkway. And you can see here that that is original concrete driveway down here. Then on top of that, there's a blacktop driveway. And now there's stone and this newer blacktop driveway. So that's why we say you never know what you're going to find under the ground. Like we found over there by the stairs, we found a whole set of steps buried underneath. Which might have connected to this uh, concrete driveway because it's about the same level. So anyway, let me get back to work. Those are the pallet forks Tom made for the mini. Our workspace is back there. We don't have room to do too much. Definitely no room to drop pallets. So now I can bring these pallet forks right up there, put the pieces on it, so I'd rather put them right over there where they gotta go. And we'll just work out of the truck. Awesome. Yep, this is a very tight area. Um, we got this area all Ready for the blocks? Our blocks are all in. They're all pitched right. Tom is now filling in the middle. We have a layer of geogrid on the bottom to help with the uh, stabilization. Tons we got a shovel today. I don't know, but the sky looks really pretty. Nice. So now we're gonna put the three eighths in, screed that, and then after we get all that done, put the blocks in right there. The geo grid goes on top of this.
All right, Tom's gonna be cutting these caps since they do not come in corners. So it only has a rough face and we need this to be a rough face too. So Tom will chisel that and cut that off. Just like he had to do with this corner here. These blocks do not come with corners. So you have to split them yourself to make a split face.
We we're almost done laying the pavers. Now we just have a few cuts to make in this area. We had to raise the pavers up and follow this contour of the curb, but almost done. All right, Tom's gonna compact now. Holly sand is down and here's what we got. Flurry. Yes, there's no flurries. And yeah, looks nice. Once Tom gets all this cleaned up, he better get on that. And then we can put the fabric down and the stone. Waiting on you. Yep.
All right, it's complete. There is the raised porch. Now they can put a couple chairs out there or whatever they want. Instead of that one little piece of cement step that they had going before. Stones all in. Here's the extended walkway to make the driveway bigger so they can get out of their cars and uh, have room to not have to step on the grass when there's two cars parked in a driveway. And there's the, uh, again, the raised porch. The rocks there, now they don't have to mow the lawn in the front anymore. Which, these are little shore houses, so the fronts are usually really small. We match the curve of the curb right there. a little different. 